Okay, guys, nice Tinturi uh, treadmill. Let's go through it. Tinturi made in Sweden, top flight. This is an older unit, but it's been hardly ever used. The belt is perfect. What can I tell you? I'm going to hop on and give a quick demo here. Um, here's the controls. Nice and basic. A lot of the new controls, you know, they got all the LED displays going to fail on you. It's got the incline and, of course, the speed. So what can I tell you? It does the job. I'm just going to activate it real quick here. You can see all you have to do is uh, push the start button. You can, you can select a program. We're just getting started. It counts down. Three, two, one. And then clickety-click. It starts to run. Now, this unit is whisper quiet. I'm doing voice over audio right now, so that um, just because the environment was noisy, we we're showing the mill, but it's a whisper quiet mill, and you know, right here I'm just walking on it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it run out here for a second here, and I'll add the audio in of it running out, and it's nice and quiet. And it'll go all the way up to 10 miles an hour, or 10 kilometers an hour. Um, so that's that's pretty. You're never gonna run that fast, but what can I tell you? Now this unit has got a two and a half horsepower motor. And it's a constant horsepower motor. If you look at a lot of the new treadmills, they're uh, uh, two, two horsepower and a surge, and then they're much less. So this is a constant horsepower motor, a little higher quality. Again, Tinturi, Swedish, you know, Swedish Volvo, um, Swedish, like, meatballs. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. Good quality stuff. Uh, this is the incline, and it raises up to full 10 degrees. And... Um, just a quick, a quick note here, even on the controls, there's the original label. The original sticker is on there. I'm just peeling it a bit here just to show you how little use this unit has had. So, I mean, not only are the controls very simple to use and they're really never going to fail, but uh, it is that is a testament of it being new. What can I say? I'm just going to take a quick look here and you'll be able to see that uh, this is the incline as it's coming down here. I'm going to just activate it and knock it all the way down so you can see the actual move. And there you have it. It's, it's it's pretty straightforward. Works pretty well. Again, if you actually when you actually come to get this mill, you'll see, you'll feel actually how heavy it is, and that's a gain of quality, a testament to the build quality. It's all enameled steel and uh, not painted steel, so um, you know that's enamel is like what's on your bathtub. You know, it's pretty high quality uh, unit. Um, and of course, this is the key. Just pull the key if you want to shut it off, and yep, there it goes. And then that shuts the unit off immediately. And, all you'll see, go on YouTube, look up treadmill fails to see the value of having a safety key on your treadmill. So what can I say? I'm going to take some photos to be higher quality in this video, but I'm not going to ask a million dollars for it. But to be honest, folks, if you just want to run and get going, I mean, what's a new mill got? An iPod connector? I mean, seriously, this one folds up just like that real nice. Honestly, this will be the last mill you'll ever need um, if you're a walker or a jogger. And I'll put the reviews in the ad. Pricing is firm. I don't play pricing games. But you want a nice unit that does the job. And I will note um, delivery as an option for those of you who don't have vehicles sufficient to move it. But it's a great unit, and you'll be pleased to own it. And now is the time of the year that you need to have a mill like this. Send me a text, email, or phone call, and I'll sell it to you. Thanks, folks.